So getting into it, first thing we see, the top is uh, my copy for the receipt. So I got this from OVO to, to my info. And all that uh, down here, you see this is um, Air Jordan 8 Retro OVO. Description shoe, and the colorway is white, blur metallic gold, and varsity red. I got this in a size 8, I won the raffle. So getting into it, you see the box they use is like the OG Air Jordan 8 box. It says Air in between the OR, the RD, and the DA of Jordan. And the Jumpman on the middle in red. And they have the lettering in gold. So getting in on the tag on the box, you can see how uh, we have the size right here, size 8. And all the other sizes right here. Um, you can see the Jumpman right here. And the U.S. retail price of $225. The colorway, as I said before, that was on the receipt, was white, blue, metallic gold. And, but what's different on this and the receipt, you can see how on the receipt, it has a varsity red, but on the label, it does not. Which is kind of strange in my opinion. Also on the same side as the tag we have an OVO owl in gold as you can see right there and as well on the other side we do have a gold jumpman right here and as we open it have the first glimpse of the shoe So here it is, the Jordan 8 OVO um, in a size 8, the white colorway. I did win this pair through the OVO raffle because I did enter a bunch of times, different sizes, for best possible result. And through the raffle, I ended up getting a white pair, size, size 8, and a black pair, size 12, which does come tomorrow. As we do get a closer look on the shoe... We do see how the, the leather all around is all tumbled, which is actually really nice, as you can see right here. On the strap, which has 23 embossed. Get focus there. 23 embossed. And you can see how good the leather is. The quality on, these, on this pair is really nice. And not only on the strap, but on here where it has the perforated holes, it has a really nice leather as well and all around which is really nice to see that Jordan brand is using higher quality leather another cool thing that I saw that I actually enjoy on 8's is how on the tongue it has like this kind of wool feel to it and it has the Jordan, the Jordan Jumpman in red which does stand out a lot to say if it was gold because you wouldn't be able to see it as much and also what I like is how they included not only like gold but like it looks like bronze or kind of like you can see they did add a bit like darker like copper is what I would call it on the side so it's not just gold which is pretty cool add more colors onto it. So the bottom of the shoe, the outsole, another cool thing that I like about it is how the colors are all there. As you see, it has the gold and the copper right there and the red Jumpman with the classic 8 sole. Uh, this is cool, but I, I'm wondering why they, have, they didn't do like what they would do with like say the 10 and the 12 the OVO collab they had like a clear sole with OV with uh, like the OVO like cross pattern this is OVO and OVO and like the little spark like the glitter which would have been a cool say just had like in here say like OVO down here and, like it's clear that would have been a cool um like detail. Also by looking at these pairs you can see how on the back 
the pull tab here is gold and it has the OVO owl and as well on the right pair as well which is pretty cool and also under the tongue we can see on both pairs it does say look at the focus it does say welcome which is um I'm wondering why they put that I don't know the reasoning behind that but yeah this pair of shoes right here I would say I'm actually surprised how they're going for so low even though I know they're a Jordan 8 um, those don't really tend to do well unless it's like a Dornbecker which that goes for a lot but the quality on this white pair is really nice the tumbled leather the details and this overall perfect spring summer shoe and if you do want to purchase this pair of shoes I would suggest like always StockX they do have the lowest prices and I, I also do most of my sales through there as well and also Grailed I will link my Grailed in the description if you do want to check anything out I do have a bunch of Supreme and like it's like streetwear for sale so if you do want to check that out, link is in, in, the, in the description. So yeah, I do suggest purchasing these shoes if you want to. In about one week when everybody gets their orders from OVO because not only do more people have to wait for their shoes to come in, but they, do, they did have a full size run on both pairs of shoes um, yesterday, which was Monday the 26th and just wait like about a week for people's orders to come in and these will drop down even more from where they're at where they're at right now which is about three hundred dollars so yeah uh thanks for watching uh see you in my next video which will probably most likely be the jordan 8 ovo black review um and after that i will be doing a sneaker collection video of all my personal pairs, not just pairs that I bought to sell, like this pair of shoes will not be included in my sneaker collection, and as well as the Kobe Undefeated, because I did sell those. Those are not part of my collection. So, yeah, um, I will be going to SneakerCon Bay Area. I do have a booth and a bunch of stuff for sale, so if you do want something, I will be there. I will be vlogging as well. So if you do want to say, like, what's up or something, I will be there with a bunch of friends, just selling stuff, and yeah. Here's just a sneak peek of some of the stuff that will be in the sneaker collection video. More will be on the way. After that, it's going to be streetwear collection and most of my clothes. So yeah, catch you in my next video. Peace. Like a whole different world